So let's find out all this know about the leader of Block B. At first, why don't we take a look at his basic profile? A turn up. Zico is the leader and main rapper of Block B, but in terms of age, he's the fifth oldest member out of the seven of them. But there's a reason he's the leader of the group, despite his young age, and do you know why? He may be young, but he's charismatic and has strong leadership skills. Yes, he has also produced countless his songs for Block B as their record producer. The musical genius produced Block B's debut album, Do You Wanna Be, when he was just 20 years old and put his group among the ranks of top idol stars with hit songs such as Toy, Her, Nalina, and Very Good. Yes, he wows everyone with his musical talent even when he's alone. As a solo artist, all of his songs reach number one on the music charts. Say yes or no, boys and girls, and Eureka released last year, slayed the music charts back to back. Zico had gained recognition even before his mainstream debut. He was praised by his fellow hip-hop musicians and fans as a super rookie on the underground hip-hop scene. So, everyone was surprised when he decided to enter the mainstream music industry as a member of an idol group. The reason he joined the idol group is because he'd never be able to do it once he's past a certain age. And you know what? He made the right decision. He's gained huge success and garnered an even bigger fan base. So why does Zico have so many lady fans? I say one of the reasons is it's perfect for Zeke. He has such long arms and legs and a perfectly proportioned body that he looks like a professional model. Not many Koreans can pull off dreadlocks or reggae hairstyle, but Zico is so stylish that he can pull off just about every single hairstyle. His complexion is free of imperfections and he has such delicate facial features. When you take a closer look, he kind of looks like Lee Jun Gi who's famous for his androgynous look. He also bears some resemblance to Kyung Lee called the visual member of Nine Music. He puts a lot of effort into his makeup, especially his eye makeup. Maybe it's because Zico used to study fine art, but he is very meticulous when it comes to symmetry and clean lines. I guess you could think of your face as a canvas and putting on makeup is kind of like paint. Zico is a true artist who's gifted in music and art, and he has also showed his talent in lyric composition as well. His first solo song titled Tough Cookie had awesome lyrics that consisted of a lot of play on words. Then, last year, he caused a sensation with his first ever love song titled You Are Me, I Am You. He depicted a guy who was head over heels in love and the relatable lyrics created a favorable response from the listener. Once his fans' hands got really cold because she was waiting for him outside, so he blew into her hands to make them warm. His fans who have gotten a chance to meet in person are feeding their craze for Jiko in other ways. One of them is to look at photos of his pretty hands. His fans say that his hands are so pretty that they wouldn't mind it if he pointed and shook his finger at them. There's another attractive trait that his fans adore and is something that you probably wouldn't have expected from a hip-hop artist. Typically, hip-hop artists are known for partying hard, but that's not true for Jiko. When he doesn't smoke, he doesn't drink very often. He was an exemplary student who only studied and worked and never partied until he reached the age of 23. So, how does this Mr. Innocent relieve his stress? It's by going to church. He projects a completely different image on and off stage, doesn't he? And it's these contrasting characteristics that he has makes that his fans adore him all the more. I hope you enjoyed learning more about Zico and Block me on today's Bias Fanatic. I hope somebody delivered their violence for Zico. Now, if there's a K-pop star you'd like to know more about, then drop off your messages. Bias Fanatic, a segment of Idol Stars by Idol Stars and for Idol Stars will continue next week. So, make sure you tune in again.